Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and I'm a dyslexic here to help other dyslexics. Today we are going to be talking about mental health and dyslexia. I know that it is mental health awareness week and so I am going to be sharing four tips that have helped me with my mental health and accepting my dyslexia and learning how to take it from hating being a dyslexic to embracing it and sharing it with other people. So if this is something that interests you, then let's get into this video. Mental health is so important, especially right now with everything going on with COVID, things are shut down. We can't go socialize with people. We can't do certain things that allowed us to be in a better place with mental health. And so if you know somebody with dyslexia that is struggling with mental health right now, then this video is for them. I am going to be sharing my journey with dyslexia and how these four things that I'm sharing with you and tips to help you overcome mental health will benefit any dyslexic. So even if they're a student or somebody a little bit older, any dyslexic struggling right now, this video is for them. So the first one is to understand dyslexic. So if you're a parent or a dyslexic, one of the biggest things that has helped me is to understand dyslexia exactly what it is. So not just the definition, but how it works. So the fact that my brain processes information in a different way than anybody else. And I know that because of this and so many wonderful dyslexics and other people in the world that it is becoming more normal and looked at. But when I was a kid, I honestly felt like I was on an island by myself because I didn't understand dyslexia. I didn't understand what was going on. All I knew is I would go to school every day and I would watch all my friends that could read easily, write easily, do everything. And I would literally just sit there and stare at a blank paper and not know what was going on. So understanding dyslexia and not just keeping that to yourself if you're a parent, but sharing it with your child, sharing what you've learned about dyslexia so they can understand what's going on with their brain. That is so, so, so important because as I've gotten older and I've learned more and more about dyslexia, it's become easier and easier. The other really nice thing right now that's going on is there's something called nearversity going on and it is becoming more and more widespread and I have more information coming out about it here very soon but that is just basically more inclusion helping people understand that no two people are alike that we are all different and that we need to embrace those differences and these differences can help build a better world. So I love that. I have more information coming out about it. And if this is your first time hearing about it, it is something that I recently learned about and I am loving and it's definitely helped my self-esteem. The second one is know the advantages of dyslexia. Okay. <laughs> Growing up, I had no clue that there were advantages of dyslexia. I had no clue. All I knew is that I struggled to read, write, and spell. I struggled, and it was a struggle every day. School was hard, and then I would go home and spend hours doing homework. It was so torturous, but yet being a dyslexic and an advantage being so determined, I was able to slowly overcome it. And I've since learned that there are so many advantages and so many things that I'm good at that nobody else is. And last night I was in a meeting with a couple people and we were talking about how to like grow our businesses and do things. And I literally sat down with some a course and things that I had been working on. And I was just like, this is so complicated and so overwhelming. How can I make this simple? How can I make this into 
easy breakdown, manageable task. And so I literally sat down and just brainstormed it all out. I have since gone back and changed it a little bit, but then I chose to share it with other people. And because my brain is so good at simplifying it, another person took it and was like, I felt like this was so overwhelming until I saw what Kathleen shared. And I now realize that it is not this overwhelming task, that it is something manageable and easy to do. So one of our big, big things is being able to simplify things to help people with work processes and make them easier easier and more manageable. That is one of the biggest advantages that we have. And you can see it in the work world. You can see it other places. And this has come into play for me several times. And I didn't realize it a few years ago when I did it, but now I do. And I use it to my advantage to make life easier for me and for everybody else around. So if you are a student in school and you're thinking about it, think about it this way. Think about a project and how overwhelming it is when you first get that project. We'll take the project and break it down into manageable tasks every day. And then all of a sudden it becomes so much easier and it's done. So make it simple. That's one of the biggest advantages I know and that I use on a daily basis to make my life easier. And since realizing that, it has been a game changer. And I love being able to share it with other people and help other people. The third one is to know that dyslexia changes over time. So when I was growing up, Somehow I got it in my head that my dyslexia would be gone the minute I graduated from college. Just be gone. I would be a normal person. I just needed to get through college. Boy, was I wrong. So one of the things I have since learned is that dyslexia in adults is a very real thing. And dyslexia still affects every part of my life on a daily basis. But I'm okay with that because I've learned what those are and I've learned strategies to help me. And one of the things that I've also seen is that some people, dyslexia does not affect them when they're in school or learning how to read write. Dyslexia has so many different shapes and forms and it affects every single person differently. But yet it affects them once they go into the real world and it really affects them because they just don't know what to do with it. And so if you're one of those people that school was just fine, but now you're struggling, it might be because of dyslexia and know that dyslexia is lifelong. You had it as a baby. You learned how to do everything as a baby being a dyslexic. You've learned in school and now in an now being an adult with dyslexia. And so just learning simple strategies and again, advantages will help you and make life easier. The next one I have for you is to have supports in place. This one is so important. So having somebody you can talk to Somebody that's not going to judge you when you need to talk to somebody. Just have it in place that you can go talk to somebody judgment-free without that. And one of the other things with this is to maybe have a mentor. I would say a dyslexic mentor. I know that there are so many famous dyslexics out there that you look up to. I know I look up to several and I'm just like, look at everything they've done. That is so awesome. And the ones I look up to have changed over time because of what they've done. And I mean, dyslexics honestly really have changed the world. And once you wrap your head around that and see that things, it becomes a lot easier because you're like, wow, I'm in this really cool group of people and it really, really helps. So knowing that like Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, we're able to stay up at night because of Thomas Edison, a dyslexic. We communicate all the time through computers. Microsoft and Apple both came from dyslexic minds. Not to mention all the actors and actresses that have it, the songwriters or the singers that have it. There are so many people out there and that they have found a way to use their advantages 
their dyslexic advantages to their advantage. And they know what those are and they know how to use them to help people and to help the world. One of the things I would say is yes, go ahead and look up to those people and research it and see how it is, but also find somebody in your community or somebody in your family that's a dyslexic that you can compare stories to. Because I know since I've been able to start talking to other people about dyslexia and share my stories, I felt so much better because I've learned that I'm not on an island by myself. I'm not. That this is very common and so many people have it and so many people struggle with it. And one of the things that I've learned since I've started doing this is that me getting to share my story and learn that I'm not the only one has really empowered me and made me feel better about my dyslexia where I'm more willing to share and help other people. And so that has been so empowering and so helpful for me that I know that it will help anybody else. So to recap, to help with mental health, being that I'm a dyslexic and I've struggled with it, I just wanted to share my story. And the four things that have helped me is to understand dyslexia, know the advantages, because that is definitely a game changer. It was a huge game changer for me. Um, knowing that dyslexia changes and evolves over time and it affects you in different ways throughout your life and having supports in place to help you. Those are the four biggest takeaways to helping with mental health with dyslexics. And I am here to answer any questions. I love to share my story. I love to connect with anybody that has dyslexia. And I can't wait to share more information with you. In the next coming weeks, I have more information about dyslexia. So the range of dyslexia and how it affects people once you're diagnosed, what it looks like. Um, that's a very interesting topic I have coming out. Um, I also have more information on evaluations and IEPs and anything else. If there's certain information that you want, please leave it in the comments below and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.